we're going to look at applying transparency effects to a drawn object. We're going to create a simple logo, and I will start with a simple square shape. So I'm holding, clicking the rectangle tool, holding down the control key, and click and drag to get the shape and size of object that I want. And then go to add a smaller circle, again, control key to get the exact size that I want. And I'm going to fill in the circle with a red colour. Now, I'm going to add some text to my main square by right-clicking, add text, and we will put some text in there. It's looking okay. I'll just make that a little bit bigger. Make it easier to see. Bigger still, I think. That's looking good. I then want to put my circle on top of the square, so I'm going to click and drag the circle, put it in the middle of the square, and let go. And, oh dear, that doesn't look very good. It's hidden my text. But remember, we can arrange the objects to send them backwards and forwards throughout the layers. So if I right-click on the circle, I can do order and send it to the back. Oh dear. That hasn't worked either, and I can't see the circle at all. Never mind, I'll send the square to the back instead. Select the square, then right-click, order, send it to the back. That's better, but I still can't see my text. So let's try this effect. Transparency. If I right-click on the circle, and then do Format Auto Shape, See my fill colour there, but underneath that we've got our transparency. I can make that colour more or less transparent, so I can see things underneath it. 80% should do it, I think. If we click on OK, that looks better. I can now see the text underneath my drawn object. Ideally, I should lock these objects together so they become one. I'll select the square by single clicking it and then holding down the control key I will also click on the circle. You can see how the mouse cursor has changed. It's got a little plus sign next to it. So clicking on the circle, both objects are now selected. Now there's a number of different ways of doing this next step. I can either right click on the object or I can use the draw button to group the objects. The objects are now one. They can be moved around as one and they can be reshaped and resized. Just get rid of those previous ones. Okay, so that's creating a logo using transparency. But what happens if I want to change the background colour of the square. Perhaps I don't like the blue anymore. Well, in order to do that, we need to ungroup the objects. And I can do that using the right mouse button as well. Then select my square, change the background colour. I don't think that's a bit too heavy. Let's try green. That's looking a bit better. And then once I've got that sorted out, I can regroup the objects and it's back as a logo by itself. The main thing there is transparency. We draw an object, we change its fill colour to whatever colour we choose, and then you can either right click and down to format auto shape, or you can even double click the object and change the transparency. Lots of interesting effects there.